The chief minister today has said that he's shocked after seeing the video. Come on, he's the home minister. This video obviously has been circulating around Manipur, but I'm sure the officials knew about it. He knew about it. I've seen this video about Manipur. And frankly speaking, I feel sick in my stomach. I feel disgusted. All my life, whenever our women were attacked in mainland India or abused, we've stood up. And we've always told the rest of India that it is not like this in Northeast. But today I feel for the first time in my life ashamed that this has happened in our backyard. The chief minister today has said that he's shocked after seeing the video. Come on, he's the home minister. It's a small state, Manipur. This video obviously has been circulating around Manipur, but we did not know about it because internet was banned. But I'm sure the officials knew about it. He knew about it. And he has to be held accountable. You know, all this time we've been hearing that the police has been taking sides. And this video shows that that allegation is not untrue. The Prime Minister has spoken today. The Chief Justice of India has spoken today. But we need to speak up also. I think time has come for heads to rule. And uh, the demand for a separate administration obviously comes when you see the administration in Manipur itself trying to take side over one community or other. I am sorry that we did not speak out earlier. We should have spoken out a lot earlier, but the internet was banned. We had no idea. We were told something else. But we, in, as Tipra Motha, the Tiprasa indigenous tribals, are with you, my sisters. We are with all of you all, and we'll stand with you. And the government of India, if they do not do something about this now, Manipur will be the experiment of hate in Manipur. The role of the politicians in this experiment of hate in Manipur, if they do not go today, I don't know how long Manipur will remain intact. That's all I have to say.